In this video, we will be discussing how to prepare branch accounts under stock and debtors method when the goods are sent at invoice price. For the other methods under branch accounting, I have uploaded separate videos. The link I have given it in the description box. Now let's move on to this video. Before moving on to the format, let us understand what is invoice price. Invoice price is nothing but selling price. So here the head office is sending goods to the branch office at its selling price. What is the difference between cost price and selling price? If you add profit, if we add profit to the cost price, we will get the selling price. Okay, so the difference between cost price problem and selling price and invoice price problem is profit is added to the price. Okay, now let's move on to the format. So this format I have already explained. The same format that we follow under stock and data method when the goods are sent at cost price. The same ledger accounts only we are going to open here. Branch stock account, branch data account, branch expenses account and branch profit and loss account. Okay, as I already told you, the difference between cost price and selling price is profit. We have to give adjustment for this profit alone. So, how are we going to do that? In the branch stock account, we will record all the entries as usual. And we will find out this balancing figure. After calculating this balancing figure, usually we will transfer the whole balancing figure to the p account. But here... Uh, the goods sent to branch, the opening stock, then goods returned by branch closing stock. These values are recorded in the selling price. We have to, this will be included, this selling price will be included in this balancing figure. So what we are doing, we are removing the profit portion and we are transferring that profit portion to branch adjustment account and the balance only we are transferring to the branch profit and loss account. So, as per the cost price format, we are going to prepare branch stock account. No change. As per the cost price, we are preparing branch stock account. We will calculate the balancing figure and we will not transfer the whole balancing figure to p and account. We will transfer the profit element to branch adjustment account and the balance amount we will transfer to branch p and account. This is very simple. When I am working out the problems, I will explain you how to calculate this from the balancing figure, how to find out the value that will be transferred to branch adjustment account that I will explain you in a very simple method. Okay, so after doing branch stock account, there is no change in the method of preparing a branch debtors account or branch expenses account. Then while you are preparing branch profit and loss account, you will have one more additional entry. We will prepare another account called branch adjustment account. In that account, we will arrive at a balancing figure. That balancing figure will be transferred to P&L account. So we will prepare one more ledger account. The name of the ledger account is branch adjustment account. And the balancing figure in the branch adjustment account will be transferred here to P&L account. Okay, now let us see how to prepare branch adjustment account. See, branch adjustment account is prepared purely to remove the profit. Whatever profit has been added, that profit we are going to eliminate here. So, for that we are preparing branch adjustment account. Okay. In what all items uh, profit is included? It is included in opening stock. It is included in goods sent to branch. Then closing stock and goods returned goods returned by branch. In all these items, the price reflects the invoice price. When goods are sent to branch at invoice price, then your opening stock, closing stock and goods returned by branch, all these things will be in invoice price. So, we have to remove the profit. How to do that? If we have to remove what we have to do, we have to deduct. If we have to remove profit, we have to Minus from opening stock, we have to deduct profit in the same way from goods sent to branch, we have to deduct so that we will bring everything to cost price. So, from all these values, we have to deduct profit. So, opening stock normally we will record it in the debit side. If we want to deduct an amount from the opening stock, we have to write it in the credit side. So, in the credit side, we will calculate by stock reserve. This stock reserve is for opening stock. 
I will explain this once again. Normally opening stock we will record it in the debit side. Now what we want to do? We want to remove the profit. If you want to detect a value which has been recorded in the debit side, you will record it in the credit side. So we will record the stock reserve on opening stock in the credit side. And load goods sent to branch, we will record it in the debit side. Now we want to remove the profit. So we are recording it in the credit side by loading. By loading on goods sent to branch. We will calculate the amount and write the amount in the amount column. In the same way, closing stock, we will record it in the credit side. Now we want to detect the profit. So we will record it in the debit side to stock reserve on closing stock. We will write the amount in the inner column. Good sent to branch, we will record it in the credit side. So we, we will calculate the loading on the debit side. So to loading on goods returned by branch. Write the amount in the inner column. Finally, tally your account. You will have one balancing figure. That balancing figure will be transferred to branch profit and loss account. To branch profit and loss account. So this is what is branch adjustment account. Very simple. We are going to calculate stock reserve on opening stock and closing stock and we are going to calculate loading on goods sent to branch and goods returned by branch. And we will record it in the opposite side because we want to reduce the values from the respective account. So we are recording it in the opposite side. And the balancing figure will be transferred to branch profit and loss account. Hope you understood the format. Now I will explain this with an example. This is the question that I have taken. B Limited has a branch at Chennai and invoices goods at cost plus 25 percentage. So this information invoices goods cost plus 25 percentage. This tells us that this is an invoice price problem. From the following prepare branch stock account, debtors account, expenses account, adjustment account and P&L account. So this is the question. The first in account that we will prepare is branch stock account. Branch stock is an asset. This, uh, when you are preparing a ledger account for an asset, if the value of the asset increases, we will debit the account. If the value of the asset decreases, we will credit that account. And all assets will have a debit balance. So the opening balance, we have to write it in the debit side. Look at the first information. Two stock on 1, 1, 2000. So this is the opening balance. To balance brought down, we will record it in the debit side. Okay, debtors will not affect stock, petty cash will not affect stock, furniture also will not affect stock account. Goods invoiced during the year. So the head office is sending goods to the branch office. When goods comes into the business, the value of stock increases, so we are debiting it to goods sent to branch. It is two lakh twenty thousand. Okay. Then goods returned by branch. When the goods comes in, it increases the value of stock. So we are debiting it. When the branch is returning goods, the value of goods comes down. So we will credit it. So by goods returned by branch, it is 8,000 rupees. I am writing it in the amount column. Then credit sales. When the branch makes sales, what happens? The value of stock comes down. Goods goes out. So the value of stock comes down. So branch debtors account. The amount is 2,50,000. Then salaries, rent, petty cash, all these things will not affect stock account. Then cash sales. So whether it is a credit sales or cash sales, it will reduce the value of stock. So we are recording it in the credit side. By cash account, it is... 1 lakh rupees. Then bad debts, discount allowed to debtors will not affect stock account. Then goods returned by debtors. We are making sales, goods goes out of the business. When the customers return back the goods, the value of goods will increase. So we are recording it in the debit side to debtors account. It is 4,000 rupees. Then cash collected from debtors, petty cash will not affect stock account. 
closing balance of stock is given we will write it in the credit side buy balance carry down write the amount in the amount column now tally your account your debit balance total is more than the debit total it is 4,58,000 so I am writing the same total on both the sides now let us find the balancing figure the balancing figure in this problem is 1,54,000 if this is a cost price problem we will write this 1,54,000 in the amount column and transfer this amount to branch profit and loss account but this is an invoice price problem so we have to remove the profit element from this balancing figure how to remove the profit element look into this information it is given as cost plus 25 so i am assuming that cost is 100 and profit what is the profit given here it is given as 25 so i am taking profit as 25 so my selling price is 125 cost plus profit has given me this selling price with this information, we will see how to calculate profit. Do it here. 1,54,000 is the balancing figure. This balancing figure is in what value? This is in selling price. Okay, 1,54,000 is selling price. That is why we want to remove profit from it. How much is the selling price that we have calculated here? 125. So, whatever this whole number represents, this whole number represents selling price. So, in the denominator, I should write selling price. Here, my selling price is 125. In the numerator, I should write what answer I want. I want to know the profit. So, how much is the profit? It is 25. So, I am writing 25 in the numerator. So, this is very simple. If you understand this, your answer will not go wrong this whole number whatever value it represents in this problem this whole number represents selling price so the same representation should be there in the denominator in the denominator also we should write the selling price how much is the selling price here the selling price is 125 so i am writing 125 in the denominator in the numerator you should write what answer you want I don't want to know the cost price. I want to know only the profit. So I am writing 25 rupees in the numerator. When I calculate this 1,54,000 into 25 divided by 125, the answer that I get is 30,800. This will be transferred to branch adjustment account. Okay. Then now find the balancing figure actually we got 1,54,000 out of which 30,800 we have transferred to branch adjustment account so deduct it the answer that you get is 1,23,200 this amount we will transfer to branch profit and loss account to branch Profit and loss account within bracket B dot F. So I will explain this once again. Actually the balancing figure that we got was 1,54,000. If this is a cost price problem, we will transfer the balance to p and account. 54,000 is the actual balancing figure that I get. From this 1,54,000, I am first calculating what is the profit portion. This 30,800 I am calculating. I am transferring this to branch adjustment account and the balance I am transferring to P&L account, branch P&L account. This is the difference between cost price and selling price problem. So I hope you understood how to prepare branch stock account. The account that you will prepare is branch debtors account. Branch debtor is also an asset. If the value of asset increases, we will debit and if the value of asset decreases, we will credit it. And the opening balance, we will write it in the debit side. So, two balance brought down. Look into the question. The opening balance is 40,000 rupees. So, I am writing 40,000 in the amount column. Then, petty cash, furniture, goods invoiced, goods returned by branch. All these things will not affect debtors account. Look here. Credit sales. When the branch makes credit sales, what happens? The value of debtor increases. So, 
two credit sales i am debiting it and writing the amount in the amount column 250000 okay then salaries rent petty cash cash sales all these things will not affect debtor's account look here bad debts bad debts will decrease the value of debtor so i am writing it in the credit side by bad debts the amount is 1000 then discount allowed to debtors when we are allowing discount the value of debtors will decrease so i am writing it in the credit side by discount 5000 then turned by debtors when the debtors are returning goods it will decrease the value of debtors so we are writing it in the credit side by returns by returns it is 4000 then cash collected from debtors if the debtors are paying cash it will again decrease the value of debtors so we are writing it in the credit side by cash 90000 then petty cash on 31 12 2000 will not affect closing stock will not affect depreciate furniture also will not come here so i am tallying my ledger account if i am tallying my ledger account my debit total is more the debit total is 290000 i am writing the same total on both the sides and the balancing figure that i get is 190000 rupees this balancing figure will be transferred to closing balance by balance carry down this is the closing balance of debtors so i hope you understood how to prepare branch stock account and branch debtors account The next account that we will prepare is branch expenses account. Branch expenses is a nominal account. We will debit all expenses and losses. Look into the question. What are all expenses is given? Salaries, rent is given. So I am writing it in the debit side. Two salaries, twenty thousand. Two rent. Ten thousand. Okay, then petty cash is given. Look into the question. We have opening petty cash balance and we have closing petty cash balance and also cash sent during the year is given. So we have to prepare one more account, petty cash account. So that why we are preparing this account so that we can know how much is the petty expenses. So this petty cash is a real account. debit what comes in credit what goes out if cash comes into the business we will debit it if cash goes out of the business we will credit it and cash is an asset so the opening balance we will record it in the debit side to balance brought down how much is the opening balance it is 5000 rupees and petty cash sent during the year when the head office is sending cash cash will come into the business so we are recording it in the debit side to cash account it is 3000 rupees and closing balance is given we all know that the closing balance should be the last entry so i am leaving space and recording the closing balance by balance carried down it is 2000 rupees now find the total the debit total is more so i am writing the total on both the sides 8000 on both the sides and the balancing figure that i get is 6000 rupees this will be the expenses for the year by petty expenses account within bracket b dot f so we are recording opening balance closing balance and cash sent to the year sent during the year the balance will be the expenses during the year okay now record this petty expenses also to petty expenses it is 6000 rupees then bad debts is given so we will record bad debts to bad debts it is 1000 rupees then discount allowed to debtors to discount it is 5000 rupees then see depreciate furniture that is again a 
loss to the business so we are recording it in the debit side to depreciation how to calculate depreciation on the value of asset look here the value of asset is 60000 rupees on the 60000 rupees we have to calculate what 10 percentage so into 10 percentage so 60000 into 10 by 100 you will get 6000 rupees that's all tally your account the total that i get on the debit side is 48000 writing the same total on the credit side and the balancing figure will be transferred to branch profit and loss account by branch profit and loss account this is the balancing figure so i hope you understood how to prepare branch expenses and petty cash account the next account that we will prepare is branch adjustment account under cost price method we will not prepare this branch adjustment account but under invoice price method we will prepare branch adjustment account the branch adjustment account we are preparing to eliminate the profit portion okay so first let us see how to calculate stock reserve on closing stock so to stock reserve this is on closing stock how much is the closing stock it is 1 lakh rupees so i am writing 1 lakh into as i already told you cost plus 25 percentage so what are we going to assume cost is 100 profit is 25 so what is your selling price it is cost plus profit so 125 is the selling price this 1 lakh is what price it is your selling price so denominator should be selling price how much is the selling price 125 what answer you want to know you want to know how much is the profit how much is the profit it is 25 so in the numerator i am writing 25 okay this denominator should represent the whole number and numerator what answer you want that you should write i want to know the profit so i am writing 25 so the answer that i get is 20000 okay then we have to calculate stock reserve on closing stock sorry opening stock so by stock reserve how much is the opening stock see opening stock is 80000 so i am writing 80000 into this 80000 is what price selling price so denominator i am writing selling price in the numerator what answer i want we need profit so i am writing 25 in the numerator so 80000 into 25 divided by 125 we get 16000 rupees then we have to calculate loading on goods sent to branch by loading on goods sent to branch how to calculate this how much is the goods sent during the year it is 2 lakh 20000 so 2 lakh 20000 into 25 divided by 125 the answer that i get is 44000 then in this problem we have goods returned by branch also that also we have to calculate 2 returned by branch how much is the goods that is returned by branch it is 8000 into 25 divided by 125 what answer do we get it is 1600 okay apart from this that is stock reserve on opening stock closing stock loading on goods sent to branch and loading on goods returned by branch apart from this when we are preparing branch stock account we are calculating one balancing figure which will be transferred to branch adjustment account that we have to bring it here is it clear so that is by branch stock account it is 30800 this value is nothing but the value that we have calculated in branch stock account when we were preparing branch stock account from the balancing figure we calculated one amount which was transferred to branch adjustment account that we are bringing here is this clear
okay now tally your account the total is 90800 90800 writing it on both the sides the credit total is more than the debit total so i am writing the balancing figure on the debit side it is 69200 this will be transferred to branch profit and loss account within bracket b dot f this is the gross profit also this is also known as the gross profit of the branch okay now we shall prepare branch profit and loss account Bra while we are preparing branch profit and loss account we don't have to look into the question at all we have to bring the transferring amounts from branch stock account branch expenses account and branch adjustment account we would have transferred the balancing figure to branch profit and loss account that only we are going to record here so for our information i have written here this is the balancing figure that we got in the branch stock account and this is the balancing figure we got in the branch expenses account that i am bringing down to pnl account so by branch stock account the balancing figure is 123200 in the branch expenses account to branch expenses account the balancing figure was 48000 and in the branch adjust in the branch adjustment account we are transferring one amount 69200 that also we are transferring by branch adjustment account it is 69200 now tally the account the credit total is more it is 192400 so i am writing the same total on the debit side also 192400 and the balancing figure is 144400 this will be transferred to general profit and loss account and this is also the net profit of the branch okay the amount that we get in the adjustment account is gross profit and what we get in the pnl account is the net profit this will be transferred to general profit and loss account so this is how we should prepare accounts under stock and debtors method when goods are sent at invoice price hope you understood this thank you for watching